Welcome back to Lens Studio. Now it's time to add interactivity to our lens. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to add interactivity to your lens with no coding at all. Interactivity is a great way to make your lens feel more engaging and personal. Let's get started. In this lesson, we're going to make it so when the user tap the screen, the neon light on the building will turn on and when they tap again, it will turn back off. First, I'm going to find a building that has a neon light on it. Then, I'm going to duplicate the image object and set the texture to neon texture and place it in the exact position on our building. Then, let's rename this to neon so I can remember it. Cool, we're now ready to add the interaction so we can tap to turn on or off the neon. As we covered so far, we saw two of the Lens Studio's helper script. In this video, I'm going to show you the third one, which is behavior. The behavior helper script allows you to create simple interaction without writing any custom script. With the behavior, interaction are completely configured in the inspector panel. Great, this is exactly what we need. To add behavior to our project, as you all might know, click on the plus button and search for behavior in the objects panel. When you select it, you can see the object added to your project called Behavior, which has a script attached to it. Let's select it and see the properties in the Inspector panel. The Behavior is broken out into two sections. Trigger, which defines when something should happen. For example, when a user tapped the screen or when a face event happened like open mouth or many other. Then is Response, which defines what should happen as a response to a trigger. For example, disabling or enabling an object, or playing an animation or sound and more. With that being said, let's set the trigger to touch event since we want our user to tap to make this action happen. Then, in the event type, I'm gonna select the tap. We will leave the option section as it is because we want the action happen right away and always happen. Now, it's time to set the response type. Click on it and you can see there are many responses that you can choose from, which make this script really powerful. For this project interaction, I'm gonna set it to set enable so my object can be either disable or enable or toggle. Then let's set the target to our neon image object and then set the action to toggle. Let's check the interaction. I'm gonna click on the preview panel and you can see that neon is now turned off and when I tap again, it turns back on. Amazing! I hope you can see it's pretty simple to create the interaction with behavior script and take your lens to the next level. Click on the link below to learn more about the behavior script. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.